Mary MacKillop is a name that Australians are coming to know. Those of you from overseas wouldn't know as well. But she's about to be declared the first Australian saint by the Pope. Of course, the meaning of the word saint in the Bible is different than that, and there's been thousands of saints in Australia for many, many years. But inside Roman Catholicism, the canonization of the first Australian saint, Mary MacKillop, is a matter of great importance. A key part of her canonization was the evidence of two miracles, two healing miracles. Now, secularist commentators have been deeply offended by the suggestion that prayer changes anything or that God ever cures people. Their view of the world doesn't allow the possibility of God's intervention in the physical reality of disease. So, in order to attack the supernatural, they ask, why should God cure one person when thousands are dying of hunger and disaster, like in Haiti? Or they point to the number of people who have automatic remissions in their cancer and do so without prayer. Or the number of people who pray and sadly are not cured. But Christians believe that God does answer our prayers and he determines what is best for us. That as the sovereign ruler of the universe, there is nothing impossible for him to do. So God curing somebody of an apparently incurable cancer, while extraordinary, is not unbelievable for us. We may not know why God answers the prayer of one person and not another, but we always pray for everything and rejoice with thanksgiving whenever we see God giving us the things we have prayed for. What about asking Mary MacKillop to pray to God for us? Will God hear the prayers offered in her name or offered by her on behalf of other people? Was the woman healed of cancer because God listened to Mary MacKillop? And what is the wisdom of praying to somebody who hasn't yet been declared as a saint? Can a not yet declared saint hear and assist us in our prayers? Well, that a woman who prayed to Mary MacKillop was cured of her cancer is quite possible and believable. That Mary MacKillop heard her prayer and prayed to God on her behalf or that God answered the prayer of Mary MacKillop is an entirely different matter. Biblical understanding would firmly deny that such things happened. The Bible warns us not to draw such conclusions from such an experience. However, Drawing false conclusions from experience is not limited to Roman Catholicism. Many Protestants today also draw false conclusion from their experiences. Strange and miraculous experiences like slaying in the spirit or the Toronto blessing or words of prophecy or power encounters are not self-interpreting and do not authenticate ministries as being from God. While the truth needs to be weighed and evaluated in the light of experience, experience itself is a very poor guide to truth. Experience needs to be understood and interpreted in the light of God's truth taught to us in his word.